Hello everyone, this is Eugene Finder speaking. Have you ever been concerned about your height? Do you worry that you are too tall or too short and that makes you feel unattractive? If so, you have what's called a height complex and this theme can occur quite a bit in anime as well. However, it's not really all that common in the media and that's why today's video is about the top 5 anime series involving height complexes. Not many people really look into this unlike concerns over breast sizes, but its rare occurrence makes it easier to compile this list. Of course, to remind you guys that I'm creating this list on a wimp, so I may have forgotten some from anime I haven't watched, and even those I have watched before. Also, this list is ranked based on which anime I think I find more enjoyable and not based on how intense the complex is. And finally, this is all based on my personal opinion, but do feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below. And with all that said, let's just jump straight into it. Here are my top 5 anime series involving height complexes. Begin! Number 5 Lovely Complex. We're starting off with an anime that oddly enough has the word complex in it. This anime focuses on two special individuals, a tall girl named Koizumi Risa and a short guy named Otani Atsushi. So from that, you can already see how this anime is here. Height complex can actually be considered the main theme of the anime. Because of their unusual height, they always feel conflicted and think they are not as attractive as all the other individuals. And more still, they initially hated each other's guts because people keep pairing them up as a comedic duo. <laughs> But ironically, despite their height differences, you know what happens with them being the two main characters of the anime. It's no real spoiler at all that they end up together. But you may be wondering why this anime is so far down the list. Well, I'll save that thought for another time. For now, if you are looking for a romance anime to watch, do give this one a shot. Number 4 Roku Boo what do you get when you mix elementary school girls and basketball? Probably the cutest sports anime ever. This anime is about 5 girls in elementary school, I'm repeating myself goddammit, who want to form a basketball club. Coaching them unintentionally is our main character Hasegawa Subaru, and within the group of girls, one of them stands out, wink wink, from the rest, and that's Kashi Ari. For a 6th grader, she is surprisingly tall and that makes her feel insecure about herself. Even as she joins the basketball club, she doesn't like to stand out in the team. But over time, she manages to overcome her insecurity and develops really well throughout the anime. While this anime does focus on the sport of basketball and how the team improves over time, more focus is actually given to the girls fooling around doing other stuff. So as much as I want to call it a sports anime, I mean really. It's more of a lollicon anime, come on now. It may not appeal to everyone, but if you are looking for your dose of cute lolly anime, this one might just be for you. Number 3 Working Welcome to Wagnaria where your colleagues are anything but normal. Except for this girl, and as much as I want to elaborate on the story, I've basically just told you. This is an anime set in a family restaurant called Wagnaria, and it focuses on the staff members of the restaurant who are kind of... unusual. Let's just leave it at that. The character of interest in this countdown is Tanishima Popura. Believe it or not, this petite little girl is a 17 year old high schooler. Yeah, I know right? So of course, she constantly gets mistaken for a younger individual. And obviously, that bugs the heck out of her. <laughs> but let me just say this, that's what makes Popras just so freaking adorable. 
As for the anime, it is up there as one of the funniest anime series I have seen. Every episode, without fail, has left me laughing real hard in one way or another. But if there is one thing I dislike about the anime, it's how certain things in the anime are just so ridiculous and they make no freaking sense whatsoever. But still, if you just turn your brain off while you're watching this, you'll be in for a great time. And while I didn't watch working before I made my top casual anime video, if I were to take it into account now, it would easily be in my top 10. So yeah, go check it out. Number 2 Setukai Yakuin Domo Ho oh, ho, this is the second time this anime has appeared in a top anime video. But just in case you haven't seen the other video, this anime is set in Osai Academy, a once all-girls school that has recently been converted into a co-ed school. Here we focus on the student council with an odd cast of members. What follows is their activities and just to spice things up, sex talks. No, seriously, look it up. For the purposes of this list, we focus on Hagimura Suzu, the student council treasurer. She is, I don't even know, extremely short for her age of 16. And of course, like Popura from working, she gets mistaken for someone younger. The difference is that she can get seriously mad if that happens. Thank you! Yeah. Little girl! Yeah. <laughs> And while I did say that working was very funny, this one is not too far off. The main issue is that the sex jokes can get pretty annoying and somewhat forced after a while. But if I had to pick, I'd go with Setukai Yakuin Domo rather than working because at least it is not as ridiculous. And yeah, it's another great comedy and I would definitely recommend this anime to you guys. And finally, number 1. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Seriously, how can I not put this in the number one spot? If you haven't already heard about the story of Full Metal Alchemist, it focuses on two brothers, the Elric brothers, and their quest of restoring their bodies after a failed attempt of reviving their deceased mother. Along the way, they discover dark secrets hidden within their country and the government that controls it. And our focus of this video leads us to the elder of the brothers, Edward Elric. The most common gag is that because the brothers tend to be around each other, people tend to mistake his brother, Alphonse, as the title Full Metal Alchemist. That's because Alphonse is a big metal armor, while Edward is kind of short. <laughs> and that itself has become a trademark of the show. I find it hard to believe that any of you have not at least heard about this anime. Even though I do not think it's perfect, it has one of the best stories I have ever seen in anime. And I know it is very cliche to say this, but Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood stands as one of my favorite anime to date. Even though it is 64 episodes long, I have never been entertained this much before or since. And so if you haven't watched it, you are really missing out on something incredibly awesome and it should be on your priority list as soon as possible. And there you have my top 5 anime series involving height complexes. And as I've said before, there may be anime series that I've watched before but I've completely forgotten about the content so they should have been in this list but I completely forgot about them. Or there may be anime series that I haven't watched yet so I couldn't really put them in this list. So if you guys can think of suggestions of anime that is relevant to this height complex issue, do leave them in the comment section below. Also, let me know what you think about the ranking of the anime in this video. Do you agree with them or did you disagree with them? Leave the thoughts in the comment section below as well. And do stay tuned, I have quite a bit of ideas or uh, top anime videos that are coming up real soon. And I just hope that they are within 15 minutes because of this copyright strike thingy. God damn it, but whatever. I'll worry about that later. Just stay tuned for that and it's gonna be awesome. So I'll leave this video at that. 
and do stay tuned to the next time of whatever I make. Until next time, bye. Don't make any more